Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Wednesday, April 2nd, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. A 6.2 magnitude strikes near Kyushu Prefecture in Japan, and we are looking at a serious situation Violent tornadoes are raking across the central U.S. in a rare five of five threat. Buckle up and keep calm. It's boom time. Millions are bracing for a particularly dangerous tornado outbreak in the next, in this next several days. Now, this powerful spring storm will run the gamut and tornadoes already exploding across the central U.S., Dangerous storms are plowing east. Intense and violent tornadoes have destroyed homes and farms in Missouri and Arkansas. More than 15 million people are under tornado watches in the central U.S. Currently, the dangerous storm that tore through eastern Arkansas had a clear hook echo. And that means the potential for massive storms. A Missouri TV news station stayed on air as a tornado hit their building. And we have some of the footage, and this is not over. Earlier today, one of the first suspected tornadoes tore through Oklahoma and ripped roofs off buildings, and that wasn't the biggest threat. But we can see here some of the damage here. And it was, in fact, a massive tornado that was spotted in Lake City, Probably F4 that caused the most damage that we are aware of as of yet. So let's take a look at that tornado. Massive in scale and size as it moves through Lake City, Arkansas. We do have footage here. Here is the same tornado. And you can you can hear them praying as they get into their shelter. Here are some pictures from Lake City, clearly where the tornado went over the region and it has stripped everything clean. There's a vehicle there that didn't get flipped, so maybe that came a little afterwards, but looks like to be approaching EF4 uh, tornado. And take a look at Ryan Hall earlier one. today and Brandon uh, Koptic, his storm chaser, as we speak. Uh, captured the Lake City, Arkansas tornado as it passed across the road. Absolutely insane footage there as they back up to stay out of harm's way, but still in the debris field. Absolutely amazing reporting coming from Ryan Hall's team and Brandon Kopic. Uh, uh, water tower. No absolutely fantastic. Here is another view of that Lake City tornado. Absolutely fantastic. The power and beauty of Mother Nature. Well, 26 concurrent tornado warnings were occurring earlier today. Um, and it's just bad news. These storms are, this is just the beginning. It, in fact, is going to get much worse tomorrow. The good news for the first time in 25 years, California has a snowpack trifecta. Well, what does that actually mean? It means after a decade of fear-mongering from the global warmists, that it would never snow in California anymore three straight years in a row of over 100% of snowpack in all of the basins. Let's blow this up. Here's the entire Sierra Crest, 94, 101, 110. All the interior basins at 100% or right around there. If we come through the basin and range, well above average. And as we get north here, a bumper crop of snow, 200% there. Holy macaroni, just one basin below average here at 0%, and that would be Western Oregon. So our hearts and prayers go out to them. The rest of the Rocky Mountains showing 100% snowpack in almost all basins, a few left out here in the Dakotas, and the south is, well, extremely depleted. 
all the red zones have less than half of snowpack in one region here. Holy macaroni, 2%. So we're going to have some severe drought in the south, but the rest of the basins are looking amazing. And here is the full forecast. Tornado outbreak expected today in the central U.S., followed by multi-day heavy rain event. We're talking historic flooding. We've been warning about it for days, and it is coming. It is coming in the next 72 hours. A tornado outbreak is expected today and tonight from parts of the lower Mississippi Valley into the Mid-South and lower Ohio Valley. Numerous tornadoes already spotted, along with multiple long-track EF3-plus tornadoes appear likely. A multi-day, potentially historic heavy rain event may produce catastrophic and life-threatening flooding today through Saturday from the Ozarks into the Ohio River Valley. And we've got all the reporting for you here. Here is the latest run of the GFS. This is the 18Z. We're just going to move it out here April 4th, April 5th, and into the 6th. That's when we're going to see catastrophic flash flooding, river crests, the entire region here. We're talking southeastern Missouri, uh, most of northern Arkansas, and that multi-flexure point between Kentucky and Tennessee, all on the west coast there where they could be picking up 12 to 16 inches of rain locally in just the next three days. This is going to be catastrophic flooding, loss of life structures, any buildings along rivers in low-lying areas. And it's not just the next three days of flash flooding. The rivers will take another day or so to crest in these regions. So the flooding will last at least a week. And we're going to see situations similar to the North Carolina devastation that destroyed Asheville in these regions to the west. So don't be scared. Be prepared. Get out of high ground, especially if you're in the New Madrid region there. That's going to be one of the regions hard hit. So make sure you click on your county for more information. Let's take a look at the current position of the storm, and you can see that heavy string of storms is going to explode overnight. That's three hours from now. That is going to be bad. These tornadoes will occur overnight when people are sleeping. Tomorrow, another outbreak of severe weather as these system after system maintains its position there over the Mississippi River uh, and the Kentucky River. And in that region, we were showing you where the flooding will occur. And that's just bad news for all the people in yellow. A quick look at the total snowfall where snow is going to continue to fall through April here. Here is Thursday into Friday morning. Heavy snow in the northeast, a spattering of snow for our region in the four corners. And then we've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday pushes that snow into the panhandle of Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus, and even snow on the back end here in some of those regions that will experience major flooding and catastrophic generational flooding. I can't tell you enough how dangerous this situation is lining up to be. If you all remember what happened in North Carolina, the same thing is going to be happening at the bullseye of this region. So heed the warnings. Prepare now. It's begun, and it's only going to get worse. Moving the snowfall through here Tuesday, April 8th, April 9th, 10th, April 11th, April 12th, 13th, 14th, and by mid-April, we're going to have more snow in the west, and it looks like the east, well, it might be over. Now let's talk about seismicity today. Japan saw a 6.2 magnitude striking just offshore of the Kyushu prefecture. Um, according to the National Center for Seismology, no reports of any damage has been reported. This is pretty low-level activity for that region. There you can see the quake in question. We've already had an aftershock at 4.7. Some activity up here in the Kamchatka, 5.4. Overall, low-level activity worldwide. We do have a blot echo here in Argentina, uh, 4.3 at 220 kilometers. Some mid-ocean ridge activity, and well... We did live stream the Kilauea Tall Lava Fountaining for 11 hours yesterday, last night and this morning. Uh, the Lava Fountaining got over 1,000 feet and was spectacular. Now the, I don't know if this is the 10th, that was the 16th paroxysm at Kilauea since the day before Christmas Eve. The activity at Reykjanes Peninsula has come to a close as, as far as volcanic activity. 
very short-lived, one of the shortest-lived eruptions in the sequence. But the seismicity continues as it appears that the dike in Grindavik that erupted yesterday is just an after-effect of magma pushing to the north near Reykjavik. Yeah, so we could be seeing a new eruption up here on that Fisher Stream all the way to the north. As seismicity continues for a third day, you could see where all that five magnitude or greater than three magnitude earthquakes are occurring here, where all those green stars are. So it is the supposition of many volcanologists that this seismic activity showing that the lava is now pushing to the north, hopefully saving the town of Grindavik and creating a new eruption here to the north in the middle of nowhere. There are no cities but it is just about a mile or so south of a major highway that leads to two of the biggest airports in Iceland. So we're keeping a close eye on that, and we're keeping a close eye on space weather. We've got several significant sunspots that are pointing towards Earth for the next several days. Active region 40, 46, and 40, 48. The good news is flaring as quiet as the Earth-facing quiet is king. But we do have to... Keep a close eye on a three-day geomagnetic forecast of geomagnetic storms for April 4th and 5th due to a small CME headed our way um, and maybe some accentuated coronal hull streams coming from coronal hull 27. Now, if you've heard, you're watching the first views of Earth's poles seen from space. Never before, this is the first humans to orbit over Earth's north and south poles, and they've been sending back images all day and even videos. It's fantastic. Some of the first looks at Antarctica that people said we can't see because the government is hiding from us have been revealed. So, more conspiracy theories tumbling one after another, including the one that these astronauts are going to die because there's too much radiation on the poles. Absolute gobbledygook science. Guys, if you didn't know, we are part of the creator program over at Rumble and we got our first paycheck and it was, well, it was fantastic. We didn't expect it. We're going to continue our push over at Rumble at both of our channels, Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Follow us there. We're shifting everything over to Rumble eventually because eventually Oppenheimer Ranch Project is going to get canned on YouTube, which can suck it. But I am starting a new show on Rumble every day. I hope to go live around noon for some coffee talk, maybe even earlier. It could be early as 9 a.m. We'll decide tomorrow, depending on when we wake up, how we're going to do it. Our first episode is just to get the kinks out. So make sure you subscribe to Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. That's where the live stream is going to be. We're going to have a, an hour of early day live streaming on to discuss any topics. We're going to be taking your Rumble rants, answering all your questions, and at the end of the show, we'll go to a premium 30-minute section for all those on Rumble Premium, and we will get close and personal on Rumble, the only house in the universe where free speech is king. So please follow us over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. And I sound like a broken record. Gold hitting another all-time high today, 3,162. Who knew? Now you do. That's the highest price ever. And had you gotten involved with precious metals when I started telling you to, you would have doubled your money by now. Get the free gold and silver kit from Gold Co., just go to diamondlovesgold.com or click the link below. They are rated A-plus by the Better Business Bureau. They are the top-rated precious metals dealer dealing in IRAs and direct gold and silver purchases. They've helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings every day. No, there's no obligation. It includes a printed guide, an audio guide, and a video guide for free. Request your free 2025 gold and silver kit from Gold Co. and secure your future.
And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share the video. We are packing up and prepping for the San Luis Valley Seed Exchange coming up in just two weeks. Yep, the weekend of the 12th and the 13th of April, where like-minded people will share seeds, knowledge, well, and cannabis. And that is a boom. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and join us over at Rumble at Oppenheimer Ranch Project for our first exclusive live stream tomorrow, Coffee Talk at Oppenheimer Ranch Project. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.